Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, episode 27 of our Let's Play of Great Britain in the Conquest of Paradise. And I believe we'll be doing tech in... Ooh, more glory to us! We rule the waves! We do, we're Britain. Our glorious navy is the pride of our nation and the envy of the world. 10 free prestige and again, <coughs> reloading the game almost always uh, recalculates uh, trading, so... We lost tobacco for a second, but we'll probably regain it in just one single month. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and do administrative tech. Oh, I actually have to save up for the university, which we'll do now. I'm gonna save up for the university, as well as, of course, take quality ideas, because we are so far at military wise that I'm just gonna spend this all and then probably go back to military, so. For now, our leaders will be happy to know that we're making our army stronger. And actually, we s wow, 99 force limits. Well, yeah, then the, we do. We cannot go higher than 80. 80 79 or 80. Yeah. Because of the increased offense that will at one point fall off. So, that's going to be okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have discovered Austria. Damn it. Austria. Why would you do this to me? Improved relations. Everything's doing well. Yeah, I just need to remind. Yeah, there it is again. Trading tobacco is returned. Just need to remember myself what we were doing. Whoa, Sweden took Danzig. That's an interesting one. Polish and Teutonic core, but not Danish. And uh, they also took Özel. Well, that's that was Danish, so we know that. But they did lose their core. They might have lost their core randomly when reloading. Maybe I don't know. Sometimes there are still some small bugs, I guess. North Sea Squadron. Right. Ah, yes, the flight. I want to send them into uh, this over here. What is it? Wangare, I guess. So yeah, 83 per year, that's perfectly fine. No adjacent, that's also fine. I mean, we're working on three colonies now, but these should soon be done anyway, so we're actually sending in a fourth. Manitoba. Palachis, oh my. Rebel scum. Well, native scum. Well, scum, you know, not really scum. Colonial Ventures. With the discovery of the new world, we have entered what looks like our greatest period. Yeah, like 200, well, 150 years ago, I guess. Um, of prosperity. Despite the immense wealth returning to us, allowing Ernest I Augustus. Really? That's your name? Uh, to finance one of the most outstanding armies in the world, we have not been successful in creating a strong naval force. And his attempt to conquer the neighboring states has so far failed miserably. Oh, this again. Well, since I want to spend everything on... Right now, on ideas, I'm going to abandon the idea for now. It's just a really silly one, to be honest. I mean, definitely not the case in our case. All the cases. Um... I think I can relocate our uh, fleet at Wake to uh, New Zealand because there is not that much to. There's like that area of water and that area of water. Um, local power, nobles power growth through intrigue at court, skillful alliances and exploitation of his local realm. One of our noble kingdom's nobles has grown incredibly wealthy and powerful. If we don't deal with him now, we may become... He may became a pretender to the throne. Yeah, spelling error. Though reducing his power will prove difficult given his influence and private retainers that he maintains as part of his small army. Uh, Glamorgan, that's close by, so we'll gain prestige, order his arrest. So yeah, there is actually are some uh, water areas still left over to explore, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to go here. There, there, there. That should be it. Yeah, then we're just gonna go back to Wake, just repair, and after that we'll send them 
back to, um, well, forward to New Zealand. So I hope that my army is still on automatic destruction. Yes, they are. So they should instantly move out. They don't have a leader though, but uh, 41 versus 6,000. Don't think that really matters. Workshop finishes in London. Increased offensive expired. So yeah, so now our force limit is down to 79 again. And we can do naval fighting instruction. One more. Um, Great Britain finished improving Sweden. What do we get for finishing it up? Ships can repair when in coastal zones. Ooh, that's not bad either. Improved relation with Aragon has ended. I, we can improve relations with uh, France and I want to. Trying to keep on their good side. Oh, Utrecht has expanded into Galra. Hmm. Oldenburg is big. Bohemia is decent. I think we'll improve Bohemia again. Are they still Emperor? Yes, they are. And they will stay Emperor because probably half the... No, heretics. Not so heretics. Not heretics either. Heretics with Saxony, Trier, and... Platinum just wants to vote for itself. Um, yeah, only Baden is the only non Protestant voting block that Bohemia has to appease. Occupied by the Papal State, who is actually in Castle right now. Because, of course, Naples has expanded quite a bit into Italy. Wow, it would be impressive to see Italy form from uh, in a non player game, to be honest. Wow, Crimea. Lithuania gobbled up. Portugal declares war. I do not condone this. Russia. Well, they're still not at the end. This. This is what I don't like to see happen. Portugal, really? Do you have to do such a thing? Uh, yes, they are now just... Oh, Japan. I just saw him take... Izumo, so I think that would be a unified Japan. It actually took Ryukyu, actually. That's not bad either. Huh. Good for them. And we do at one point still. Yeah, Portugal also here, and Philippines, and. Uh... Okay, new governor Mississippi. Jeffrey Derrick is done. I guess we'll just get a bureaucrat for now. Uh, let's see, how are our subjects doing? Well, I think we can definitely expand some power to increase tariffs. Definitely need to increase it in Mississippi and then... There we go, more money income. Huh, we could release one of them, that's cool. Even though Vassals, Viceroy's not bad. Yeah, this means we just get more money. Whoa. Trade is still up high. Oh, right, we have a fourth colony right now, which will soon diminish. So, there it just went. Up a Wapiskat. That would be right here. Yes, it would. So, we have finished up a Wapiskat. Manitoba is next door with a settler in there. Um, yes, I would like to move some troops over there. Oh, well, I could just build. Like, how many do I need? Just one. Probably just gonna need one. Uh, where is it again? Right here. Regiment, Mauritian Infantry. Governor dies! No, West Arcadia. Actually, I'm gonna check this first. Diplomacy as economic, exploration, quality, and innovative. I'm gonna send you a bureaucrat because you have two uh, administrative ideas that you need to finish up first. 13 colonies, doing very well. Yeah, Portugal, jeez. Why they won't expand into jungle, I don't know, tropical. Well, it's their own uh, bad decision. Arikara, Army of Scotland. Oh, wait, what? Portugal did lose its uh, colony on Madagascar. Ha, huh, sucks. For them. Okay, is my ships, are you repaired? Yes, you are. Let's go here. Tell us of civil war in the Hansa. 
Seriously? Just move on. There's some more sea over here. Yeah, this is another whole continent we could just claim for ourselves. Um, where are the Mayans? I don't see the Mayans or the Aztec. They might have been gobbled up, of course, over here, but it's a possibility. Mayan culture, I guess so, yeah. So the Mayans got basically, and the, the, here the Zapotec, which is basically uh, also the Aztec culture-ish. So I guess Aztecs and Mayans lost to the Chickasaw. Whoa, they are really big. This is also Chickasaw country. Wow. Uh, the Incas are there, so that's not a big deal. Euron are over here, also not that uh, small. Fish. More fish. All the fish in the freaking world. All the time. Whoa, is this one zone? Are you kidding me? Bohemia is maxed out. I believe this is just one freaking zone. That would be incredibly hilarious too. James Saunders has arrived. Whom? We need our 30th of April. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, how much for the university? Oh, we can... No. Wait. Can I not build the university? Am I saving up for bugger all? Uh, yes, I am, because Oxford already has its university. So I am indeed saving up for no reason whatsoever. And you can sell back. That's just... Uh... Ooh, po whoa, Portugal is really taking shots at Morocco. And, oh, they are colonizing over here in the jungle. That's a thing. Um, Ivory Coast, Conian, might be an idea to take something more here. I don't think we need to really. Almost done in the wake though. Um, improved relations with France has ended. Fur in Manitoba, I do like this. Um, mass draft, no, just a regular draft. That's fine. Diplomacy, Aragon, almost maxed. France is actually minus 20. Naples, oh, I guess we could do some more with Naples. Disputed succession, Bohemia, what will happen? Noble from House Lancaster. I like that. Uh, how old is he? 36, yeah. So, Johan got itself another heir, so. No succession war between me and Portugal, but. Oh well. Um, diplomacy with Russia is at plus 35, which is fine. Poland minus oof. they know like us. I like to rival heretic religion. Pomerania does love us a little bit more, so we'll just send in a diplomat to make that 125. So basically, I'm saving up my um, points for no good reason. Well, courthouses everywhere. I don't know. We are ahead as well in administrative, so. Counting house. Oh, right. This I do want in London. I guess we can build more constables, though. That's always a good thing. At least everywhere where it's plus one first. The island's not yet. No. Yeah, let's do the rest. I think it will pay off itself. I mean, it will take 50 years to pay off itself, but we have more than 50 years to go. Uh, point six, point four would be a hundred years, so point six would be seventy-five. Oh, that's actually everything except for uh, the North Sea Islands. Ah, Mississippi is maxed out. Good. So yeah, more constables, more tax income, etc. It's going to be well. It'll pay itself off, and that's uh, a good reason to build it anyway. A long-term investment, so to speak. Um, Castile, Congo, Kilwa, Ajuran. I really want to take Ceylon though, just so I can have something over there. How many troops does Ceylon have? Let's look at the legend. Military, army, Ceylon. 4,000 total, and it's Indian troops, so won't need that much to go there. Let's see. 
I will split off maybe five. Well, I'll just do six. There we go. Select this unit. Hugh O'Neill's Irish Rebellion. Hugh O'Neill lived in England in the 1560s. He served the government in the 1580s, but in 1594 rebelled. Dissatisfied with the English government's persistent policy of playing the chiefs against one another, O'Neill was also angered by the English refusal to restore the lands granted to his grandfather. At last, he formed an alliance with the other Irish chiefs and sought aid against Protestant England from Catholic Spain. He achieved something like unity among his allies and, after 1595, defeated some of Queen Elizabeth's best commanders in Ireland. O'Neill was defeated while attempting to join a Spanish force that arrived at Kinsale in 1601. His Irish allies dispersed, and O'Neill retreated to Ulster. In 1603, he made peace with the English, surrendering his tribal authority. King James I later pardoned him. We are not amused. Um, hey, attached to a transport. You're in the right one, I suppose. There we go. Uh, what do we have left here? Perfectly well. So another transport to be attached. You actually get to go to... The cape for now. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you are going. That's your first destination. There you will recoup everything that you just lost, perhaps. Uh, one more, and then we can start building our ships en masse. Uh, ooh, quality number two. Recover army morale speed goes up. Always nice. Naples maximized in happiness. Austria is also actually positive, so that's fine. Yay, Leinster destroyed all of them troops. You can all come back now. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, right. We do have a na it's It is a naval invasion, so we should watch out for that one. Um, let's see. The Ottomans, you know what? Let's improve relations with you guys. Keep one diplomat available for now for Ceylon. And... Yeah, we do not have that Casas Belly, of course. Then again, do we would we get one from the mission if we had it? I'm not sure. Oh, we do have to establish in the Spice Islands, of course. So, so we need at least have one province, I think it is. Yes, owned province. Timor is two, Flores is four. Samba two, Flores. Looks decent. Ooh, 585. Irian. I know, is Papua part of the this? Ah, very well. Wake is now self-sufficient. Region, region. Where's region again? Uh, region map mode. Um, Papua. No? Is this a different region? This is regions, isn't it? This is weird. What map mode are we on then? Yeah, region map mode. So, that's Indonesia. Pacific Ocean Islands. No, it's a different region. So, we truly have to have something in Indonesia itself. So, I guess that will be uh, Flores, probably. That's fine that we have our wake guy. I think Manitoba we can recall our uh, settler for now and send it to Flores 585 days though that's more than a year long time um thousand with low aggressiveness is good enough that though so first fleet how are you doing almost there you're actually already in range of supply ships so that's good uh, you know what, just go to Delagoa Bay for now. Actually a bit easier with the troops, I suppose. Improvement special buildings, local tax modifier, plus 50%. Uh, suddenly died. Oh no, West Arcadia. I think we had a bureaucrat, so he'll have another bureaucrat. You guys can get together. Yeah, we might just do that and declare the war, I suppose. Declare war. Minus two only. Oh, it's not minus five. So that's actually doable. Easily doable. Once these forces are already gained, I want to give them a 
a general, Horatio Blake. You've all recovered, so I guess we're going on to Ceylon. Putting the boats off there. And colonial border conflict, hang on. First production improvements. Our embracing of Smithian economics has led to people spending time thinking about how things are produced. For the moment, it seems to have paid off. 10% production improvement for 10, for five years. So, where to begin? It seems that settlers from English West Arcadia has ventured into Arikara, a province of Mississippi, in search of new land and resources. Mississippi then sent their militia to drive them out, but they got overzealous and pursued the settlers back into Nachitoches, raiding and burning. The conflict then escalated when English West Arcadia sent their militia to drive out the Mississippi militia and carry out raids of their own into Arikara. Uh, the governors are blaming each other. How do we solve this without losing face? Um, yeah, let, I'm gonna sort out their differences. I mean, seriously, guys? Thursley? What are you doing? So, where are my troops? Or my ships? Ungrateful natives have risen in Wangare. Oh, no. You should be able to defeat that, though. Okay, perfectly fine. Ah, we've discovered everything in the South Seas. Now let's sail. Oh, wow, we can only see these two. Well, then we'll return already. A new settlement. 10 prestige or plus base tax in Manitoba. I'll take the prestige. Not just because it's... I usually like the base tax better, but do have to remember, we will lose the province to our own subject at one point. So we would actually have to impose higher tariffs to make the same amount of income from it, so I'd rather take the prestige, which we will need to actually re-elect um, re some governors at times, which is actually more beneficial. So, diplomacy. We shall declare the war. There we go. I know, we lose stability. Transport, go on land, have some fun. We are at war, but at well, we will boost our stability. I will do it twice. I wonder if we can core it, by the way. Oh, if we're lucky, we get be there before they have their morale. Yeah. We get there really quickly. 25, blockaded. Even though it's just flights. Six of them. No, it's just cogs, actually. Pomerania's returned home. They've already lost all their uh, morale, so... Easy winnings. Now it's just sieging it up, and then we're done. 420. Hehe. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm saving up for ships. So diplomatic power, once it reaches 360, will just mass produce a lot of ships. And I mean a lot. To the point where we will maybe even phase out our old barks and caravels for early frigates. Dissidents abroad. Cheyenne's opinion of Great Britain. Ah. Dissidents claim to have vast superiors. I'll support them. Wangare again. Yes, natives, you try. You fail. We have... It's five provinces, though. That's quite a lot, so... Wairoa has six, base X5, three, and two. Uh, North Ireland is a lot better at base tax. That's a bit obviously. I guess this is Australia. Arrived home from Ceylon. That's good. How are you doing? 9th of October. Let's see. We then 29th. Oh, that's actually quite quickly. Gonna sail around Australia right now. Just so we can get some... Actually, that's... Oh, there's only one province left after that. Wow, we actually don't need any more explorers after the... No, wait, there's another here. That means the end of explorers. Pare Darumi. Okay, what ifs? December 1st. Oh, wow, that's some small area. Woiburum, or... One of these is where Sydney is. It's like, you think Sydney is like really on the south and then it's further on to the east coast, I think. Then you might actually think yourself or something. It's a bit odd. 
Yes, um, let's see. We don't even have the mission right now to take a province in India, but I don't think the mission is as important as having just a free merchant from it, so. Battle of Ceylon Sea. Ah, yes, that was to be expected. Ungrateful natives again. So they actually finished some ships, I suppose. There we go. Still only at 5%. Well, they can't really... Yeah, we just lost f some transport ships, which is annoying. Ooh, 31st. Good, before actual uh, monthly uh, attrition kicks in, so we lose the open sea one. More really... Oh, God, this is bad. Nope, they were already defeated, I guess. Ah, established in the Spice Islands is done. Mission is present in India. Um, foothold in Indian trade. Who? Oh, which one is better? Um, actually, let's see. Is it all region India? It's all Indian coast. So what do we want? Do we want 50 Ducats or do we want 10 Prestige? Hmm, I think... Well, actually at max prestige, so we'll just prison problems. Our jails are overflowing with criminals of all types. To make room, we could release these dangerous individuals back into society. If only there was somewhere else to put them. Um, mission succeeds when the following criteria are met. At least one province in Australian coast owned by Great Britain. 10 prestige. It's actually a mission to send the, the prisoners to Australia. That's That's funny. Oh, right, now we get a conquest, Gaza's belly, of course. Honorable gentleman from the Company of Merchants of London trading into the East Indies. Hmm. That name. Um, yes. We were working here. N oh, I was like, no, Castile, are you kidding? Oh. Durr. Col region map mode, actually the same color as Castile has, which is annoying. And then we just sail back to uh, New Zealand. There we go. Ceylon has been taken. So we shall uh, demand the full annexation. Only 50 diplomatic points. There we go. 50 Ducats. National decision available. Found the Indian Trading Company. Remove Ojibwe. Where is Ojibwe? Atikakti. That must be in Alaska, I guess. Yeah, it is. Ojibwe. Do you have allies? You do not have allies. You have 4,000 troops, though. So, map mode, spread our culture, prison problems, remove from the map. I do like prison problems, just out of pure, pure RP standpoint. So, we're going to colonize Australia as well. Indian Trade Company, our interest in an East India Company is based chiefly on hopes and ambitions aroused by the enormous revenues produced by the initial ventures of other companies. Yeah, you know, it gains us 200 Ducats, Great Britain gets uh, merchants, as well as global trade power. Oh, the global trade power is so strong. So let's look, we have Ceylon, we'll leave our troops there for now. We can core it, that's perfect, so we'll core it. We are in range to core it, so that's always nice. We are on Flores. Hopefully nothing strange happens there. 909 in Wangare should be done soon enough. And then, yeah, Eora, Paradame. It's all looking good. East India Company, created two years before its Dutch equivalent. The English East India Company had a difficult start. Its first trading posts in the Moluccas and Buena and Indonesia were soon overwhelmed and closed by the Dutch and activity concentrated to India, Madras, Bombay and Calcutta. It is there that she would know its greatest success. From a small trading ventures of harbour factories to the large Indian Empire built by Warren Hastings and Robert Clive from 1757 and onwards, that would control most of the Indian subcontinent. The company would outlast all its competitors and would only be taken over by the British government in 1867 in the wake of the Great Sepoy Revolt of 1857. Another 100 Ducats. We're going to build so many ships. I'm just saying, we are. Once uh, this one kicks in, the press gangs. Oh, so beautiful. But yeah, so 
hopefully we can actually gain some more of India in the long run. That would be fun. Um, yeah, we have 6,000 there right now. And Wangare again. Oh no! Oh, well, we're almost done though, so... That's good. Um, we do need one in the Australian coast, so... I think we're gonna send our colonist there next. Actually, did I move him from Wangare? No, I moved him from Manitoba. That's fine though. Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode right here. We're over half an hour again. And just try to keep these to half an hour ish it doesn't always work out because like to like right at the end of the episode i'm like oh my god it's amazing i want to keep playing and just talking and yeah like now we already lost another half a minute just by me saying this stuff anyway uh hungry hungry as angona and corlet well that sucks anyway i want to thank you all for watching i'll see you guys later